Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about GeoMeet which is free and easy video conferencing software provided by Geo. Unlike any other video conferencing software, Geo does not have any condition as of now. It is 100% free and you can conduct a single meeting up to 24 hours and it supports 100 participants in a single meeting. You can access GeoMeet from laptop, desktop and mobile. To access from browser, you have to type geomeetpro.geo.com and you need to download geomeet app to access it from mobile and geomeet desktop app to join meeting from desktop or laptop now we will see how geomeet actually looks like now we are at the geomeet homepage url is geomeetpro.geo.com on the top right hand side you can see help, join meeting, host a meeting, sign in and sign up button. If you don't have an account with GeoMeet, you have to create one to conduct a meeting. Okay, now we can see some listed features and productivity of GeoMeet. First of all, it is web support. GeoMeet can be accessed through Google Chrome or Firefox browser. We can configure different settings and schedule a future meeting. But to join a meeting, we need to have Geo Meet Desktop app. At this moment of making this video, Geo does not support joining a meeting through browser. Desktop app is mandatory. However, Geo may add browser support for this in future. Next is B2B call. You can have meeting with your customer and with the office staff as well. You can join GeoMeet from any device. It may be your laptop, desktop or mobile. Geo provides app for all such devices. Finally, you can have instant meeting with GeoMeet or you can schedule meeting uh, for the future. It has many advantages. GeoMeet is meant for stay connected from any device, anywhere and anytime. Interoperability is another feature of GeoMeet. It does not need heavy video conferencing devices. We can use our legacy devices as well. GeoMeet has sophisticated backend technology, which enables HD experience at lower bandwidth. Next is it is easy and simple to use. Anybody can learn quickly and conduct meeting without any issues. Finally, it is safe and secure. All the meetings are encrypted and password protected. This is a very important feature as nowadays digital security as at the highest priority and GeoMeet complies with all that. Okay, now we have details of available apps. As you can see here, Geo provides app for Windows devices, Android devices and Apple devices. If you are a Linux or Debian user like CentOS or Ubuntu, GeoMeet is not for you as of now. Geo does not provide app for such operating system. Now we will try to create a new account with GeoMeet. Edu is the first name and InfoBits is the last name and the email ID is eduinfobits at the gmail.com. Then we hit sign up button. We have successfully created the account and now we will try to log in. Okay, we are at the dashboard of the GeoMeet using Google Chrome browser. On the left hand side you can see there are three buttons profile meeting and PMI settings we have tabs of upcoming meetings and previous meetings this is plan a new meeting button to schedule a meeting in future date so now uh, we will see what profile is it is all about user and meeting information. 
this is the personal meeting ID. If you want to do an instant meeting without scheduling one, you can do this with this ID. Below the ID, you can see that Geo Meet meeting link. You can copy and provide it to participant along with the meeting password. But where is the password? For this, you have to click edit button. Now you can see the password. You can change the password like this. It is recommended to change the password after every meeting conducted. You can copy it and share it with the participants. In the meeting option, you can see the plan meeting button. We will see this in detail a bit later. Then we'll go to PMI settings. It's personal meeting ID settings. You can see these, uh, these are toggle button to switch on and switch off. First option is host audio. Here host is the person who creates or schedules the meeting. We will keep the host audio on while uh, starting the meeting. Next option is participants audio and we are keep keeping it off. Participants anyway can turn it on uh, uh, after joining the meeting. This is done usually to avoid noise. Now we have host video on and then participants video on. The last option is very important. We will definitely toggle it on. This is the waiting room. The participants cannot join a meeting until a host admits them individually from the waiting room. If this option is enabled, the option for participants to join the meeting before the host is automatically disabled. Now we will go to the meeting tab and then plan a new meeting to schedule a meeting in the future. We will now describe the topic of the meeting as InfoBits online workshop and then adjust the uh, date and time accordingly. We will keep the meeting start date and time as 17 July uh, 2020, 1900 hours to 17 July 1930 hours. That means it is for 30 minutes. We will keep meeting ID to be generated automatically and the video audio for the host on and for the participants we will keep it off. The participants can change their audio video settings after they join into the meeting. We have more meeting options here. Uh, we will enable waiting room and we will disable uh, guest users. We have completed all required from configuration and now we will hit save button. We can see that the meeting is scheduled and we can share it. Then we click the schedule meeting. Uh, it shows the details including password. Password is hidden. You need to press show button to see it. This is the GeoMeet meeting link. You can copy it here and share it. Here is the invitation with the password to be shared with the participants. Then we will go to our email ID and can uh, we can see a notification about the meeting. From here, we can uh, drop an email to FTP ICT teacher and FTP ICT student. Now we will open GeoMeet desktop app. Basically, GeoMeet desktop app does the same thing like uh, the browser, but to join in a meeting, this app is mandatory. As changing configuration and scheduling a meeting is can also be done in this app you can practically avoid using a browser. Okay, now we will log in using credentials that we have created earlier through the browser. We are able to log in. Now we can see a very simple dashboard where schedule meeting is already showing including other options. Here we can see four options. Start a new meeting, join a meeting, plan a meeting and share screen. This is a schedule meeting and it has start button and meeting ID. When we click upcoming meeting, it will take you to the meeting tab where all meeting informations are there. Meeting link, ID, password is also available.
it all same as the browser new meeting is scheduled and now we can see two schedule meeting here if you see the browser uh, you will be able to see the same information so in this video uh, we have seen about geo meet uh, including schedule a feature meeting in the future uh, this is in this next video we will see how real time video conferencing works with multiple participant in case of geo meet thank you